Hi guys. So welcome to the second episode. Uh today also we'll start with warm-ups because warm-ups are warm-ups are extremely important and you should never skip it. It's it's, it's not just something which you may not do any day. Warm-ups have to be done every day without fail. That's what Preeti has taught us. And um today what we are going to learn is uh, primarily twisting of the spine. It's, it's about spine today. Twisting of the spine and forward bending. Your hamstrings will also talk to you today. Maybe tomorrow morning they'll talk louder. But uh, so yeah, enjoy. Be with us. Uh, listen to our instructions and let's start. Vande Guru Nam Charana Ravinde Sandarshita Swatma Sukha Vabodhe. निश्रेयसे जांगलिका यमाने संसार हाला हल मोह शांति है आबाहु पुरुषात्कारम शंख चक्र सिद्धारणम सहस्र शिव समश्वेतम प्रणामामि पतंजलि Let's start with the warm ups. We'll do neck rotations. So stand still, hands on the waist. We'll be doing clockwise and anti clockwise. Try to articulate your neck muscles and see the range of motion how far you can go. Don't really stress it out. Just feel feel the circular motion. we'll do this five times clockwise and five times anti clockwise here you have to pause and feel free to uh release the strain if at all in the neck if at all you have okay it should feel like a massage loosening up not really stressing out now get to the spinal wave tuck your chin to throat and slowly lower down your body as if you are rolling in a mat imagine that your head is the engine of your spine and your spine is the train so every uh, box every disc needs to hit that point uh so really do it in an articulated way like one disc is moving at a time try to flex and stretch the spine as much as you can and you will notice as of course you know that the spine starts from the back of your head and it goes till your tailbone and you have to engage your whole torso your back your core your chest the whole trunk and that is the whole soul of purpose of doing the spinal wave to learn how to move your trunk and spine in sync so five times we did a uh, start the wave with head and now we have started with hips so hips is going to initiate the movement by going backward this is going to help you stretch the hamstring as well hamstring and lower back so you're going to keep your head up chest up and push the hips backward and eventually you'll get in a forward fold and while coming up you have to start rolling you have to start rolling the lower back and eventually come up head will get up in the end i hope you are at least getting a uh, the feeling of the spine now let's warm up our shoulders uh here <clears throat> we will clockwise and anti clockwise rotate the shoulders right five times left five times and then both together as we did last time so here again if you see the entire body has to be straight 
only thing which moves is your arm again try to see the range of motion try to feel uh try to feel your biceps you try to rotate your arms when especially you're going back keep your palm active do the next left hand now 10 times three four you will get to know if you are doing this right if your shoulder start burning so it's a it's an exercise you are, you are actually lifting the weight of your hand while warming up So your shoulders should start burning as if you are lifting weights. The the key is isolation. Don't don't use your back or you know hips or don't move your body forward and back to compensate for the uh to compensate for the uh, you know the effort which is required actually to lift your hand also in isolation. only the hand is moving nothing else as rajesh rightly said uh, only the hand is going to move and it is moving with the intention to open the shoulder joint and that's why articulation is even more important if the shoulder also moves with the hand then it is not going to open the shoulder Remember last time I told you about ball and socket concept so if hand also moves along with the shoulder uh, it's just sorry shoulder also moves along with the hand it's not going to improve the range of motion of shoulder so shoulder needs to be static and hand should move along sorry ha- only hand is going to move around the shoulder all right now we are going to move both hands together While you are doing this you will observe less range of motion make sure that when you are doing it you are focusing on the shoulder blades and pecs means chest when you take your hands back you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades to each other and stretch your chest so five times anti clockwise and five times clockwise especially while doing this make sure that you maintain a neutral line in the spine you do not arch your back in order to experience uh, an improved range of motion okay now we going to warm up the legs again the leg is going to move around hips in clockwise and anti clockwise direction five times each again it is making sure that you are covering the full range of motion that is allowed by our human anatomy so focusing on inner thigh outer thigh hip flexor hip extensor all these things you are going to warm up and move the leg clockwise and anti clockwise if the language is becoming too technical for you then um don't ignore it eventually it will start making sense to you and you will get all the all the details in the description so make sure that you also read the description because it is important to know your body and then exercise otherwise it's not going to make sense you have to become the entrepreneur of your body you need to know your body and you need to make sure what function is happening how it is happening then these exercises would be more effective okay knee the warm up of knees again you have to keep the knee static and the leg is moving around the knee in clockwise and anti clockwise direction five times each i personally prefer to do this movement very very slowly so that i understand because knee offer very restricted range of motion 
now ankle again move the ankle ankle offers a wide range of motion so make sure to move the ankle in clockwise and anti clockwise direction covering the full range of motion and this is also called open chain movement we are doing the warm up without loading the joint this is close chain movement I, i i think i need to tell you these information so that uh, you also educate uh, while you are learning these exercises close chain when you are loading the joint okay so uh, right now we are warming up the wrist keep your fingers wide open and move your shoulders back and forth loading the wrist and unloading the wrist 10 times and now put the wrist so that your fingers are facing you do not compromise on how wide you can open your fingers again back and forth this should stretch your wrist this is basically to perform stretching on the wrist it's very likely to keep the thumb very inactive in these exercises but don't do that a lot of things only thumb you know the part between your thumb and index finger is going to offer as we move um to advanced exercises now the back of the palm is to the floor and just try and straighten your elbow if you can straighten your elbow then it makes sense to move back and forth so the uh, warm ups are done and let us start the workouts now so these are simple uh, spinal exercises get in the log pose one leg over the other and one palm you have to keep beside the hip and the other goes over the head and try not to move on the side rather push to the push the torso to the other side look through your armpit and stretching it contract one side and stretch the other side i want to repeat it because i have seen student making the same mistake that they try to lean on one side we are not leaning on one side we are pushing on the other side okay so the hand which is raised i am pushing myself towards that side okay in this you need to have your keep Uh, your hip open enough to uh, so that you can sit in a comfortable position and this is going to help you with side bending it's going to be possible that uh, your knees are not touching your feet but then they'll touch eventually again change your legs now we'll be do we'll do a little bit of twisting so lock your lock the wrist of your left hand to your knee and look behind look look at the back you can use the support of your wrist to passively twist your back you should feel that twisting um uh, that twist in your spine and twist in your back we'll again change change the legs and change sides Re- repeat the same thing the whole idea is make your we have to because we are doing spinal exercises today we have to loosen our back so this is like a warm up only but very very focused and uh, specific to uh, activating your spine so again you passively push yourself and twist as much as you can you have to look through your shoulder at the back now stand up we will start with standing poses now here spinal exercises are going to be more active because of course you are standing you need a lot of activation in the legs here the idea is to push your hips towards the back leg and then get into a lateral bend don't just lean make sure that your shoulders are in one line your body is in one plane so your shoulder your torso and hips are in one plane 
now hold for 10 breaths get up and get on to the other side hold this again for 10 breaths and try and lengthen your spine in the horizontal direction i know it will sound very difficult as a beginner but at least set that intention it is going to eventually make the task easier next we are going to do prasarit padottanasan a for this you need to bend forward here heels are likely to go out and toes in that will allow you to get deeper in the asana take your time no rush okay so toes little bit turned inward and heels going out try and keep your legs straight and allow your upper body to lower down in a forward fold now try and connect to your spine i have seen students um straining their head in this position try and avoid that keep your head loose your head you straining your head is not going to help you in this pose just keep it loose put your palms on the floor if possible and lengthen through the crown of your head now inhale head up hands on the hip only exhale slowly get up similarly we are going to do prasarit padottanasana d so leg position are going to remain same you will get into a forward fold and grab your big toes here if possible if you cannot grab your big toes it's okay to bend your knees a little bit but try to straighten your spine and after straightening your spine if you can then focus on your hamstring push the knee backward in order to straighten your leg as much as you can but respecting your limits now let's do parshottanasan turn to your right this is a forward bending asan depending on how much your back is open you can choose to do a namaskar behind your back or just hold your elbows so we have demonstrated both the things to you here the end where you have to reach is your chin should touch your knees that is where you have to go but to begin with at least fold forward there will be a minor twist involved because you are not not just going vertically down because if your chin has to meet the knee then your um, spine has to twist a little bit on your right side to begin with so here also let your back leg be the anchor let it be straight uh, loaded but uh, when you are uh, bending forward you can choose to uh, bend your knee a little bit and gradually straighten so that your hamstring gets a nice stretch breathe for a couple of times in the pose now get up we'll change sides now look to your left side same like we did on the other side let your back leg be the anchor fold forward aim to aim in such a way that your chin should touch the knee i know that this is going to be this is going to really take a lot of time for many of you but that's where we have to go so your mind should know that uh, your mind and muscle should know that this is where we have to reach so keep your core active keep breathing ideally with every ex- exhalation try to get deeper into the pose as much as you can if you want bend the front leg a little bit to get deeper and then if gradually 
straighten try to straighten straight so that your hamstring also gets stretched stay here for a couple of breaths and get up okay time to relax sit down <laughs> i'm joking bad joke please ignore okay straighten your legs if you have any difficulty in doing that it's okay to keep your knees slightly bent here we are going to try in and get in a deeper forward fold so it's okay to bend your knee but try and straighten your spine if you cannot go that deep i'm okay even with you sitting with a straight spine but we need to work on stretching the glute and straightening the lower back and as and when you can get in a forward fold with the that straight line of spine other ways is to use a towel or a belt and put it around your sole and hold it till you get that forward fold otherwise you can also hold your ankle but make sure that you are still keeping your back and spine quite straight and active what i mean by active is you need to engage your muscles do not just be engage the muscles contract them that's when they start to work start to get developed and that that's when these become the exercise and be, eventually will help you and stay there for few breaths make sure that you are breathing naturally count few breaths and then release the pose slowly now we'll get on a plank so get in a table top load your wrists and shoulders and just take your legs back now the key to plank there are two three keys to plank which all of you should uh, remember is your shoulder should always be on top of your hand so don't lean backwards let it be on top of your hand let your whole body be active your legs thighs glutes core everything has to be active and when it will be active i'll tell you your whole body has to be in one straight line so don't lower your hips or don't take your hips you know towards the ceiling like a downward dog you have to be in one straight line and your toes also should be crushed against the floor so when you get into that perfect line you will see that your core becomes absolutely active and your shoulders also start burning so it it becomes sort of a full body uh, exercise the plank is also critical because uh, it's the starting point uh, of chaturanga dandasan so uh, practicing plank is really going to help you for a full body uh, muscle strength from a full body muscle strengthening perspective so we are timing the plank um, ideally so the it will go up to 2 minutes uh, so the video will go up to 2 minutes uh, if you drop in between <laughs> if you drop in between get back Uh, and make sure you drop 2 minutes plank is like quite advanced <laughs> yeah 2 minutes not going to be possible but the video will be on 2 minutes because we want you to put in the effort so uh, you know if you drop get back so we are stopping in another 10 seconds so get back if you have already dropped down 3 2 1 drop now we'll get into navasana navasana is my very personal favorite because that tells you again how to uh, put your whole body in whole body active 
and just do one position it feels like you are holding it but you know trust me your whole body should be burning uh it is about your back your glutes your core your legs your thighs even your toes see how the toes are pointed over here it is going to engage even your calves so i have seen a lot of people rounding their back please try and avoid that make sure that spine is in a straight line his head is on the top of your spine and if the need be choose to bend your legs that's totally fine but do not compromise in the line of spine um i feel that's the right approach to take and hold this position if you feel like you're burning out then please loosen up and get back again it's hard to get it's going to take its own time let it but at the same time make it challenging enough for you because until unless you challenge yourself you not going to change your body is not going to change your mind is not going to change okay and uh, if you dropped get back into the asan again we will count for 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and drop. Now turn, turn around and get down in shavasan. You all of you would be proud that you finished the workout today. Just relax. Close your eyes. Relax your body. There has been a lot of effort which has gone in your back. So keep on relaxing each joint and part of your body starting from your ankles, toes, thighs, hips, waist. breathe through your back feel the air is moving through throughout your body and try to remember what all you did today this was a nice strength training class also you did lot of planks so pat your back instead of looking at uh, a side where you think that you're not able to do so many things or you don't have strength or you don't have flexibility rather than looking at that thank god that you're at least able to do what you are able to do and thank for the opportunity that you are going to improve from this point of your time that will get lot of positivity and you will get motivation to practice every day now slowly move your toes move your fingers turn to your right and get back to a comfortable sitting position join your hands स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य पिपालता न्याय मगे न महिम महिषा गोभ्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्त नि समस्ता सुखि शांति 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 रब यू पाम्स यू कैन पुट देम ऑन योर फेस या सो हाउ वाज इट गाइस आई होप इट वाज बेटर देन द फर्स्ट टू सीजंस बिकॉज़ वी आर प्रीति हियर सो 
stay tuned tomorrow new set of exercises is coming up and you will have much more fun than what we had today try to have your warm ups done and uh, yeah see you tomorrow bye bye